at some point, you have to speak your peace. That's peace and peace. See, every time you speak your peace, it's not always calm, cool, and collective. It's that release of things that doesn't go right. It's the release of a real feeling and emotion. That's that peace. So you can get to peace. You can't keep bottling, bottling it up inside and have this expectation, everything's going to be peaceful. But in reality, sometimes you have to check some things and you have to call people on some things so you can remain in peace. You need to stop thinking that people, when they're positive, they are lackluster. They're, they're um, soft. When in actuality, their main goal is to remain in peace. This peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. We have to learn to communicate. And some communication is not always nice. It's, all, it's not always cuddly. It's not always positive. I was listening to this conversation the other day between two men, and one man says to the other, you thrive off confrontation. He says, no, I don't. He says, I loathe confrontation. But I understand that confrontation kicked down the road multiplies. I'm learning that in life. Either I can say it now or have internal turmoil with it and release it, or I can save it for later, then it multiplies bigger than it was when it started. And then you have no understanding of what just took place because it's further down the road. So if you want peace, sometimes you're going to have to be a little confrontational. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.